What is up, you trainers? This is your boy Trainer Pile here with another review, review of the brand new Series 8 Wicked Cool Toys Sarah Ledge. This is a Target, tar, tar, Target exclusive. My God, it's a Target exclusive. I bought this, I pre ordered it from Target.com. I've had it for a couple days. I didn't get I got it late first. Let's, let's be honest. I got it late. I had it for a couple days. Sat on it. I still have another review in the bank that I already recorded. I just want to get this review out. This, this, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This figure looks amazing. This is a uh, very, very high potential theme. The best Pokemon figure I own in my collection. I own a lot. Besides, point. Let's get into it. Now that we're in the facility, here is Sir Ledge. I don't know well, not out of the packaging. I didn't even do that. But let's take a look at the packaging first. You have Pokemon Pikachu right here. Get off the box. Pikachu A Plus Select Trainer Team Series. So it is our Tar J exclusive. Uh, warning labels. You have the articulated Sir Ledge. I believe this is the Fire Ghost type form. This is probably my favorite form. The other one is cool. I like Sarah Ledge's Pokemon. It might be one of my top five favorite fire types just because of the unique design. But this is a very unique figure. You see Sarah Ledge on the side here with the promotional set. I really didn't even see this side picture to be honest with the two swords. We also have Zero War, which I need, and Glitz Blood. I need it. And if you don't have the speakers here, it goes right here. I'm reviewing Sarah Ledge today and we're crazy. We reviewed the Series 8 Pokemon Select Pikachu. Get off the box. And here, nothing else here. See it on the bottom. Okay, let's get this, this, this one open. Now, what you have to remember with these boxes, they do have a lot of tape. This is a very high quality figure, so you do have to soap. And I would suggest using scissors if you are trained to use scissors. If you are not, ask somebody who is trained to use scissors. This is a very high quality figure, so you're going to have to have scissors. If you don't have scissors, you're not opening this. Before my name was rudely besmirched, you have to pull the figure out. Move this box right here. Okay. Okay. And it does always come with a stand because these figures, a lot of Jasmine figures don't tend to want to be obedient and standing in their spot or in, in place in general. And plus this has very narrow legs. So you do plug the bigger part in here. No, that's not the big part right here in there. And you go fully just whatever. Okay. Off the camera straight. Get the fully plug that in there. You got fully functioning. Okay, we're gonna cut. Yo, fully functioning stand. Okay, we're not gonna do this today. Fully functioning stand. Leave that in the background. Ready to surlage out the box. And so we have no more cuts. I'm doing this off camera. Here is surlage out the packaging. You do need to cut these. That's why everybody be safe while using these. If you can't use them, don't use them. Uh, get this one right here. Why the heck is that cut right here? Just get all the, they tied this one down. Which one of y'all been stealing them? Is that good? Is that good or not? No, that's not good. Is it, is it? Gotcha. Okay, this one too. Good. Okay. You're gonna cut. Okay. We're gonna pull it out. Get away from me. Do that right over. Oh wow! Oh, oh, oh my! Oh, hold on. First and foremost, <laughs> this is without a doubt one of, if not the best Pokemon figure in my collection right now. And I'm not, I'm not glazing or whatever you want to say. I'm not even exaggerating. This figure has the most fluid articulation and the most hidden articulation points you wouldn't even expect to see. But before we get to articulation, I just want to tell you right now, if you get this figure, I think it's on sale because of the Target Plus thing, if I'm not mistaken. If you get this figure and you pay $13 for it, we are enemy now. No, no, I'm joking. But I paid full price because I pre-ordered it way before that. This is $13 right now. If you don't get this right now, I would get two of them just to have two of them. This figure is well detailed. Look at this right here. <laughs> the sword is fully painted. Soft rubber, so you're not gonna break them. Everything is painted in perfectly. The face is beautiful. The sculpted smoke coming out the eyeballs, the jewels, and even the foot, jeez. Even the fire on the back. Oh my God. This is, I'm sorry. Why the heck did I not open this to do this review sooner? Oh my. This is, why is this even a Pokemon? 
Jazz wears. If, if Jazz wears. Hold on. I'm sorry about the breaks and stuff like that. I legitimately don't believe that Jazz wears made this. And granted, they probably did. Uh, they most definitely did. It's, it's licensed by them. But I'm saying Jazz wears no longer has an excuse. If any other select figure is less than this, they have no excuse at this point. This figure is legitimately articulated to the max. Um, we're gonna do some size comparisons and then we're gonna get to articulation and then we're gonna have my final thoughts. Here is Suraledge next to Extra Tiny Torkoal and uh, you have him next to another fire ghost type which is Alolan Marowak. You have Suraledge next to another fellow swordsman or whatever you wanna call him, Shift Tree and also next to, uh, uh, what is that? Like the like like and rock mid 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 dust form or dust form like that. Here's Sir Ledge next to Polyworld and Krogana. Here's Sir Ledge next to uh Pokemon Select Garchomp and Pokemon Select Flygon. And between these three, these are probably the top three best Jazzwares select figures. If I'm mistaken, I have all of them. If not all of them, most of them. I will be doing a video soon with the, the top ten. Maybe even, no, it's going to be top 10, definitely. I don't think there's even been 10, but if there's 10, it would be top 10. If not, do top 5. But these are definitely in that top 5. These are the most articulated and just, th these two specifically. Garchomp is just a fan favorite, so everybody just eats them alive. But uh, these two right here, top tier, top tier indeed. And here is the final size comparison with my boy Ben Gala, the Incineroar. And we do have Tyrantrum. Tyrant, Ty jeez. Or Louise, ain't no way I just call him Tyra. Tyranitar, these two are the epitome of what I think Pokemon figures should be. Well, minus Tyranitar. Tyranitar is just one I really called I wanted, but these two, the, these three in general are Pokemon figures we needed, we wanted. These are the most complex looking characters we needed them, and we have them. Sir Legend, dope. Let's get to articulation. Now, articulation here for Sir Legend, this is gonna be awesome. Y'all gonna be surprised, but the head goes all the way that oh my god i'm sorry goes all the way down side to side goes all the way up with the hinge and the next one and then you go side to side too so you go everywhere you want to go that is this is this is not a pokemon design by the way but this is a pokemon design and the the shoulder pads move so you get out the way you get the arms straight up or, or as close as straight as you gonna get i don't want to force it to break it but they get closer straight up so you get the sword dance you got a, a, a swivel right here to go up and down Right there, and you also have a double jointed elbow, a double jointed elbow, and not even that. That's not all. That's not all. The source twist. Why? Um, Jazzwares, by the way. Tally oh, uh, you see the waist swivel right here. That is probably the most common, but the most missed with Pokemon figures. So we bend forward, bend backwards, side to side, and swivel out to get the sword poses. The legs are probably the weirdest because they don't go all the way out, but it's probably due to this plastic thing because it is a hard plastic. They go out, but they, they they don't really kick up because of the plastic, but they do kick a little back. You do have a thigh swivel and a double jointed knee, but, but because of the feet, the way the design works, it's really not Jazzwares fault, more of the design works. It does get a little bulky, but it can go, bro. And the, the slice holes are both, but it doesn't cut down there, so it's really this. But this figure is amazing, bro. Final thoughts. Final thoughts, this figure is amazing. If you don't get this figure, there's something wrong with you. But if you don't get this figure and you can't afford this figure, I'm sorry, that's not the point. The point is this figure is amazing. I didn't expect this figure to be this good. I haven't watched any review of this figure. I didn't see this figure and I've only saw, I saw it in a picture on, on Instagram. I don't, I didn't see this figure reviewed or anything. So I was totally blown away by the fact that I stayed away from this thing. I didn't know that this figure was this articulated, was this good, was this quality. Jazzwares, if you ever watch my videos, hopefully in the future we can work together, this figure is what select figure should be. I wouldn't mind paying about, I don't know, this was 13 on Target, it's 13 on Target now, if you didn't know, if the Target sale's still going, don't quote me on that by the way. I paid $18 by the way, or 20 something, I don't remember. This is worth what I paid. If you get it for $13, you're lucky. Me personally, I think this should have been $30, to be honest. This is import quality, minus the legs, which are really stiff on the hip joints, but that's because of the plastic and the plastic they chose and the design really. Kudos to you, Jazzwares. Make stuff like this. I can't wait to get Glissapod in a um, Zero Aura. is one of my favorite, just in general, Hosea the Moon things. But if you know, you know. Like this video, subscribe for more. If you're going to get this figure, comment down below where you're going to get it, if you're going to get it. And for, as always, keep trading, guys.